On the way back, I seen this shit. I had to hurry up and screen record it. Um, I was trying to find the other videos that's related to it, but um, this shit was very time sensitive. I'm trying to get this reaction out right now today. So we finna go ahead and react to this shit. Excuse me with all my porn and shit in there. I know y'all can't really see how small the thumbnails is, but don't be trying to zoom in, you nasties. Alright, here we go. Salute the academics. <laughs> Oh. Random ass shit from back in the day that is genuinely not something that I've ever felt awkward about against us, as if it's like this super big deal. So I'm gonna give you the timeline from back in the day. All right. So I meet Lana. See, we it, go on. Or we hang out like two times, and then. So okay. <laughs> it's so funny because like. He's saying he didn't feel awkward about it, but like. I think it's one of them things to where, like, he he seen how lucrative it would be fucking with Lena, and he kind of had to, you know, like, bite, like, and you if you really think about it, if it wasn't for Lena and House Phone, Adam wouldn't be where he at today. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, no matter how much people say, oh, Adam the boss, or... You know, how's phone mad at this or he trying to get like, I'm not trying to spin no narrative. I'm just being objective with the shit. Like he said he didn't feel weird about it. But all I'm saying is, OK, it's two reasons. What, like, OK, you can look at it like this. Right. He a white boy. He does porn, whatever. Like he's been like he said, um, he's he's fine with being open sexually, whatever. So that could be one side you look at it, but then you could look at it as he he was he was biting the bullet, knowing it'd be lucrative, but it's st certain things would still fuck with him. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying neither one of those are true. I'm just I'm just looking at it objectively, how both of those could play out. After that, we didn't see each other for like a couple months, and then. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't skip past it. Is that sex when I met those two dumb? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so. So, we hang out a couple so correct. Adam did, did hit it first. But my thing is this, right? How do you settle down and date a girl and eventually have kids with and marry a girl? Not only that hit your mans, but you fucked first. And she knows this is your man and she fucked him. That behavior right there eliminates a woman from being like any any logical man's woman. Like, maybe baby mama, but wife live with you're tripping. See what I'm saying, bro? I keep thinking I'm watching YouTube. See what I'm saying, my nigga? Like, what? Huh? What? White or not, bro? That's just simp nigga shit, bro. I don't give a fuck about no race. I don't give a fuck about being sex open sexually, bro. You're a weirdo, bro. I'm sorry, Adam. You're That's why I'm subscribed from No Jumper, because that, that's weirdo shit. Can't support that, bro. What? He said that like it was maybe even like a couple of weeks or like a month after that, me and her hang out again. Look at academics face. That nigga can't believe what he fuck he's hearing. He's like, this shit is preposterous. Look at the man face. Maybe even like a couple of weeks or like a month after that, me and her hang out again. <laughs> ah, fuck? Hang out more and more and that kind of like eventually. <laughs> Look at my nigga act face, yo. Hold on, dog. Look at this nigga act face, bro. When that nigga say that shit. From there, we couple he couldn't believe what he was hearing. We each other after that, like, and then had a couple times. And this is like way back in the day, dude. This is like 2016 when we were still downtown. Okay. Was that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we hang out a couple times, and this is like way back in the day, dude. This is like 2016 when we were still downtown. Okay. 
And then, so, but she met House Bone, like, through me, because, like, even, like, the first time we hung out, House Bone happened face. to be there, right? And so, Look at him his face, this much. Like, having nothing to do with each other after that, like, and then he hangs out with her, like, a couple months later, and they end up sleeping together. That nigga, like, really? That's how the timeline went? He think, look at her, think, like, how long? Maybe even, like, a couple weeks or, like, a month. After. Like, you mean to tell your wife they're after that? That's what went through his head, I'm telling you. That is what went through act head right there, dog. Watch him one more time. I'm sorry, but watch him. He put all of that shit together. He was like, what? The, the, you see you thinking. Then in effect, right? My nigga, it, you have no choice but to be awkward. It was awkward as hell. And this is why that nigga always was so adamant on, oh, oh, this nigga missing the show. Oh, he's late today. Da, da, da. Bro, he got fucking co-hosts, bro. Like, I can see if, like, the, the, the whole podcast wasn't happening in those days because he wasn't coming. Bro, Blazzy and Yuri and Potlaw was holding it down when the nigga could not be there. And he had valid fucking excuses. You knew who you was hiring. You knew you was hiring a drug addict, bro. You get what I'm saying? So you know this nigga goes on binges and shit like that. You know you gave this nigga this show and you know this who this nigga was. You can't just sit here once the nigga start missing days and going on binges and being sick from or or, or, or not, not wanting to do the drugs and being sick and withdrawing because he's not doing the drugs and he's trying to be a better man by himself. Then on top of all of that, his mama dies in the midst of shit, bro. This nigga used to always be on this nigga head unjust, bro. It was very unjust to me. I used to always wonder like, and then he come on stream with the shit. And then that's why I feel like uh, those jumpers gonna crash and burn because it's not like he's he is the main one behind all the bullshit that's happening on screen over there, bro. Like it, he brings a lot of this shit on screen himself, bro. So it's not like it's not like like um it's poor leadership to the world. Like he got these rules and niggas are not following the rules. No, he set that president over there, my nigga. And I guarantee you, nigga, you were starting to notice, why am I falling in love with this bitch that I know is a thotty, right? Oh, it's the only thing niggas give a fuck about, bro. That's all it is at the end of the day, bro. Superior, bro. Just try, trying to get the most money. Like, that, that shit whack, bro. You fucking, like, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, fucking... I'm gonna just say it like this because I can't think of the fucking word. But nigga, nigga is putting like your manhood at like you know what I'm saying. Like you just, um, like you don't care. Like you don't you don't care to have no kind of like moral standard about nothing, bro. Like when they ask this nigga about shit, like they they like he just play it off like it's just like like there's no strategy at being a good person. It's just like oh everything is just whatever and you can just do like everything is whatever like. You know what I'm saying? That's just your preference. Like, no, bro. That's not... No, no. Especially when you're in the realm of other motherfuckers that stand on business and stand on shit like that. That's why the whole house phone shit happened in the fucking first place because niggas like house phone and niggas like just people in the black community, period, we stand on shit. Even though sometimes niggas may get in debacles and may not be so honest to try to save face, but we still stand on these certain morals and shit. That's why a lot of things are done behind closed doors. Because as the black community, bro, we have to uphold these morals we, within ourselves. And especially from the niggas that's in uh, the forefront in, in the industry, you know what I'm saying? Um, they try to make sure that, you know, at least, man, at least maybe not black people, but at least us in the hip-hop community hold a standard, right? So, and, that, and that's, that's, that's the reason why the whole thing went down and why a house phone... And, and well, everybody is getting on Adam head about the house phone situation because, like, bro, you're white. I get it. You feel me? Um, you're a capitalist. I get it. But at the same time, bro, there's things that we just don't expose. There's things that we just don't do because 
we have to uphold a certain moral standard in this community, bro. And I think Adam just don't understand that. And that's why I feel like he's out of place in the community. And I, I used to show love, a lot of love to Adam, and I love the fuck out of No Jumper and all of that shit. But, bro, bro, uh, in the 2022 and 20, and this beginning of this year, man, it's been very messy. And I, I had to unsubscribe, bro. Trying to hold it over your head a little bit. What do you say? Well, they were trying to hold it over your head because. Can y'all even hear? My bad, bro. Hold on. Everybody's like, it's kind of feel like it's a thing where like everybody's giggling about it, and maybe you're not in on the joke. Which you know, I told yeah, people, like, I'm like, at the end of the like day, what's giving us power is just the fact that people are acting like it's this thing that I'm like fucking horrified by. When in reality, I mean, anybody who fucking pays attention to my content knows that I'm a my bad, y'all. Open-minded person sexually, and I mean, me and my girl sleep with different fucking girls every day, and. But see, that don't mean shit, though. Like, this, see, this is why I be saying, like, it's why it's not like he trying to say that to save face to try to, like, disprove what everybody is saying. But it's like, I, I, <laughs> to me, it's just like, bro, it'll just be like, bro, that's preposterous, that's stupid. You wouldn't be able to come and say, oh, it's because we're open sexually. Or, oh, shit, we, I knew he did it way before. That really don't mean nothing, my nigga. Like, if a, just think, just think if these niggas not rich and famous. This is not Adam in house phone, right? Just think, okay. There's a girl in your neighborhood, right? That, okay, she go with a nigga, but before they went together, she slept around in the hood a little bit. That nigga is always going to feel away and be weird. Like it, it's just human nature. Everybody's gonna feel away, like when they around the niggas that they bitch fucked. You get what I'm saying? And on top of the fact that you are in control of this nigga's livelihood damn near a little bit, like, that's going to make you have a, like, a complex. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, people, bro, that, I don't know, like, what y'all niggas ever heard about human nature or experienced about human nature, bro. But that's just something that is in it, just period, bro. You cannot employ a nigga that knows he, and know he fucked your wife without at least, at the very least, Feeling awkward about it, bro. Like, stop that shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? Or you are not just, human, nigga? You an avatar? It, Shut it, that shit up. Like, to be honest, it was never even like this awkward thing between me and house phone. It was just kind of whatever. Because, like, I mean, there's, I, I could probably honestly think of like 10 girls that me and house phone both slept with around that time. The Lena thing is just kind of awkward because, you know, obviously I ended up getting married to her. Okay, all right. So. See, you see what I'm saying? Like that, that shit just don't make sense. Like, and then see now, he's now he's saying like, all right, it's, it's only awkward because it is, bro. You know it's awkward. You know you fucking feel awkward. You know that bitch know that this shit is weird, and she damn near walking on thin ice, but she knows she got you in the palm of her hand, so she don't really give a fuck. Like, bro, she, bro, like, bro, I just feel like this for a woman to respect you and for your peers to respect you too. In your relationship, you got to seem like the prize. If niggas knowing, like, you only with her and she's only with you because you you big no jumper dude and niggas know you only with her is because she bring extra money in that you can invest and uphold no jumper, bro. That's not really a relationship. That's just, that's just like, um, like your own camera personality dwelling over into your personal life, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, bro, you got to be able to keep that shit separate, bro. Like, if whoever you dating and marrying can't be the, what you doing, like, what? That's stupid. Unless y'all, like, unless the, the main plot, like, if, if, okay, like, if they, if he never had no jumper, right? And they started plug talking together, then that's cool, right? So y'all made a decision together to come out and be in the, just, like, in the, in the public together. But, you never had that choice. You 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 literally, um, like, started this shit while everything was simultaneously happening, and it all compounded on each other. And now you need every situation. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can see if it was just like, okay, he was way like 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 he like if he was a rapper or some shit, or or they both was doing porn and they started plug talking and. and plug talk and venture like they fucking around was like you know what let's start interviewing rappers and then they created no jumper like that's different but like bro you had a chance to say i'm not wifing you bitch we can do make only fans content but bitch i'm gonna have me another girlfriend bitch like you know what i'm saying like yeah i could be your own camera boyfriend cool that's cool but bitch we not i'm not finna put that into my personal life and when niggas notice 
what you do, who you date, <laughs> who you fucking take serious as a woman ties to your ability or 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 or, or your manhood or your you know what I'm saying like that, that it all ties in together. That's the whole point of why niggas get up and work and bust their ass every day is so they can go and have the top most top tier woman. Right, that nobody ever touched. N- Let's know, not your fucking man's. You become a millionaire to date a bitch and marry a bitch that your man's fucked. A nigga that you paying? Nah, bro, ain't no one the fucking way you finna sit here as a grown ass adult, competent male and get and, and, and try to get us to fucking believe that your ass don't feel away about that shit, bro. I don't give a man what. Did he tell you? That's the video, dog. We out this time, man. Go get the merch, man.